I can, I can just barely hear you. Okay, so on the side of your phone, Mom, is vol is a volume button? Up and down, I know. I've been doing that. Okay, push it all the way up, and that should help your volume. Oh, I got you up as high as it'll go. Okay, do you, do you need me to yell? Are you that hard of hearing now? How long's it? Shut been? up. <laughs> Why do I pick my ears? Maybe that clean them out a little. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Hi, Mom. We're waiting Hi. for Brittany. Brittany's joining us, too. Is Brittany joining us, too? She's supposed to be. I assume so, yeah. So I'm going to let you kind of host this one because it's your mom. Okay. Well, Mom, it's, Jen, I did look at the list of questions and one stood out to me. And, Mom, I think this is one that everybody wants to know. Did you ever drop me as a baby? <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> I might have wanted to throw you on the wall, but I didn't want to I ever drop you. My guess would have been that I was dropped multiple times as a baby. That would explain so No, much. no, <laughs> no. You were never dropped. I okay. wanted to throw you across in the wall already, but not. Uh... I'm sure there are many people on this planet that share that similar <laughs> Well, how old as a mother you? to their child, yes. How old were you when she wanted to throw you? <laughs> probably the most recent time was probably not that long ago, so it's probably been ongoing. <laughs> I, I wanted to throw you too a few times. <laughs> I think you did, Jen. <laughs> I drug you across the floor, but I didn't throw you. I couldn't pick you up. <laughs> We've all had that fear of her. <laughs> Can be scary. <laughs> and all right, mom. So, um, how painful was I to give birth to? Because <laughs> I have a pretty big head. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Not really, because I started uh, in labor with you uh, Tuesday morning around uh 5 30 went to work down in mechanicsburg and drove home and didn't have you till the following wednesday morning at 7 28 um, and a, i was I'm a, in labor the I'm whole a time Scorpio, like six times over because of that 7 28 on november 3rd mm -hmm. <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> it's a birth chart based on your your birthday and your the time of birth and they map the stars where the stars were when you were born and according to that there was scorpios in the stars like six times for anyway mom it's it's, it's a spiritual thing <laughs> i just know i was in labor that's all i left <laughs> punched out at work at um four o'clock and had my, my first contraction in line labor. What? I said my mom went to work and labor with me. Like she's hard work. <laughs> um, hey, Brittany. Had had a uh, contraction when I punched out and got in the car with the carpool. Got up to uh, the plaza parking lot. Um, had a contraction as I was getting out of the car to get in my car. And then drove home to Nori and called my girlfriend. And she came down and picked me up and took me over to the hospital. And I was in the hospital from uh, then until the following morning in labor the whole time. Mom, that was Brittany. Brittany's here somewhere. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. Hi. That's my mom, Linda. And that's Hi. my mom's dog. Hi, Linda. <laughs> she was just thing. talking. Brittany, she was just talking about, um, she was in labor with me and so, went to work and worked an entire day in labor. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. I'm on we're, having a soft, we're having a soft meltdown. I have my kids. So Brittany, it's just. Brittany, to catch you up, also, um, Shannon's I mom. I was not dropped. She was a dropped. baby. Yeah, but she wanted to be, she wanted to throw her a few times. <laughs> oh, no. This is interesting information. <laughs> I love it. You are a bad baby. 
Oh, well, Mom, why did I always get in trouble? Did you always? No, what what did I always get? In, when I got in trouble, what was I always in trouble for? Because you would not uh, listen as far as I tell you to come home at a certain time and you wouldn't come home. If I told you to come home at four, you came home at five or six. Mom, do you remember, do you remember when Laura Finelli was over and we were getting, we were irritating you and you told me to go take a hike? <laughs> I took her literally and I took Laura who was three years younger than me and I was in elementary school and I said, come on, mom said it's okay. We can go for a hike. <laughs> that that was another thing of Shannon if you told her one thing like I would tell her show her an orange and I would tell her it was a tomato and she'd believe it yeah maybe I mean, if you had your own my, my kids are fighting this is stressful oh no yeah Do I you really need to celebrate me? I mean this is just yeah, it just it's just hard because they need my attention and I'm taking it away from them. And even though I planned it, it's just I can't. You can't plan being a mother. Yeah, you can't plan it. You can't plan. You can't plan it. If you need to go, you, you can, can't plan you it. Can just be back on for your mom's one. I don't. Linda, who is behind your head? Libby. <laughs> oh I yeah, think. Libby. Libby likes to lick faces. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's Trixie. It's, yeah, it's Libby because Snoopy's down at the other end. Oh. <laughs> Where's Trixie at? Is she? Can you hold her up in front of the? No, she's back in bed. Trixie, where are you? <laughs> she's back in bed. She's back in her room. Like this big, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she barks all the time. She's afraid. She doesn't want anybody to step on her. Like you just like smash her. She don't bark that much. She barks quite a bit. <laughs> this one's got look. She's sneaking around, uh -huh. trying to get her head around my neck. So cute. By the way, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you. Yes, happy Mother's Day. And I like your glasses. Oh. One of my many, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, All right, Mom, did you want a boy or a girl with me? With you? Uh, I just wanted a healthy baby at that time. Danette's the one that I wanted a boy. <laughs> uh, Sucks to be you, Danette. I, I uh, screamed at the doctor, and he said it was a girl, and I said, you cut its thing off. <laughs> And he looked up at me and he looked over at the nurse and he says, tell her I didn't. <laughs> so I just have, you know, but anyways. If I would have been a boy, what would you have named me? I really don't know. Okay. Were you going to name me anything else besides Shannon? Uh, no. I thought, no. I thought Daisy was thrown around. Daisy. Well, that was years. way back, you know, that was really back in early stage, like wasn't fifth that month Daisy or something. Wasn't that Daisy Lynn Bertha? Daisy Lynn Bertha Brocious? Wasn't that the that great? That was my, mother, my grandmother's name, <laughs> Daisy Bertha. <laughs> but I was going with the Daisy, uh, I was thinking more Daisy May. Daisy May, even better. Oh, my God. <laughs> Daisy May here. <laughs> you were Carol, like I was going to be. Right? You were going to be Carol Carol and Daisy May running the scene in Northumberland. <laughs> yes. We would not have had an entourage that we did if it would have been named Carol and you would have been named Daisy. I mean, it just doesn't go together. <laughs> following, you know? Well, thank you, Mom, for choosing Shannon. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What are your questions, Jay-Z? Um, well, my question is, what is your favorite or best memory with you and Shannon together? Our best memories of the two? Yeah, like, like do you have a, a favorite memory with Shannon? Like, maybe you guys did something special or d something random? Just She's your probably too busy yelling at me all the time. <laughs> 
my font and you got to take this really it was my fondest memory of her is when my girlfriend Helen and her daughter lived with us at the time and we had set I think up I know where this is going. <laughs> a couple of weeks before and watched Mommy Dearest. Did and you ever see that movie, John? I don't think so. I can't remember. I <laughs> she ended up, uh, she was back talking to me at the supper table. And it doesn't she, sound like me at all. Huh? <laughs> doesn't sound As like normal. me at all. <laughs> and I, I said about getting, being grounded and she goes, she stood up, put her hands on her hip and she looked us straight in the face. And she said, you want me to go up to ma'am's and get some coat hangers for you? And by then. Because in that movie, Jen, in that movie, the mom spanks the daughter with wire coat hangers. So it hurts more. Oh. So I was telling her, do you want me to go get the coat? So you can but anyway, go ahead, mom. <laughs> and then I turned and I said, no, I have my own I can use. <laughs> and by then my girlfriend, her daughter, and Danette all ran down the steps downstairs. And you could hear them down there laughing their asses off at her. Because I was standing I there with my hands on my hips all I, had, <laughs> I literally had to stay there with a straight face, cracking up inside laughing at this kid telling me about this coat hangers and that stuff and trying to be, you know, discipline her. Um, that was one of my fondest memories of her, you know, that <laughs> she could be so damn cute and yet so damn miserable, you know, that she just wanted to beat, beat the crap out of her. <laughs> How old was she at that point? Uh, I had to have been in 82, so how old would you have been? Like six. Yeah, <laughs> five, six years old. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Five or six. Yeah, five or six. <laughs> Sorry. What else you got for me? I'm just looking at these questions that I had to see if there was something. Oh. Did she ever get, did she ever have a really bad injury? Like, what was her worst injury? Like, she had to go to the ER. Well, she's had how many knee operations uh, mm -hmm. and right. that. And, uh, hey, do you mean as when I was a little, like a little, little, like a little kid, Jen? Well, yeah, kind of in your youth, you know, the broken arm or anything. I didn't really, I never, I've never had a broken bone, knock on wood. I haven't either. <laughs> yeah. No, she got sick one time when she was about, uh, oh, about two or three years old. I had to put hey, her in the hospital for a couple of days. She had like a high fever and they just didn't know what it was. Hmm. Um, other than that, no. Shannon Bizarre. Yeah. What's the most bizarre? Just her knees. That's about the only thing she's had wrong with her. What's the most bizarre thing she's ever done that you're aware of? <laughs> bizarre thing? Yeah. <laughs> that you know about. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> bizarre. Oh. Running after her sister with a butcher knife. <laughs> Shannon. That's so much worse than what it was. <laughs> How? <laughs> what do you mean not so much? The neighbors seen her running out the street after her sister with the butcher knife and went after her to get That's the not even true. That's not even true. First of all, it wasn't a butcher knife. Second of all, it was a little machete that Dave had on the counter. Shannon. And Mom, was I was my there. Butcher knife. You were not. <laughs> it was my butcher knife because Dolores brought it over and handed it to me and I I thought she borrowed it to cut her meat with. <laughs> okay. And she said, no, she took well, it from okay. Shannon running after Danette. All right. So was this, was this after the incident where I was in the shower and I came out of the shower and Jen, we lived on, I grew up on, um, Duke Street. Called 147. Yeah. So there was always busy highway. Mm -hmm. So I got out of the shower the one time and my sister was like, come here, Shannon, come here. You got to see this. You got to see this. And I just had a towel on. 
And she takes me to the front door, which is at the highway there. And she opens the door and I, I'm looking at her, I'm like, what do, you, what do you want me to see? And she pushes me, grabs my towel, rips it off me and shuts the door and locks it. So that is why. <laughs> okay, now I'm on board with it. Okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> that's pretty and we, nice. Mom, we broke that handle. I think, I think I told you I did it by myself that I tripped, but we had that sliding glass door and it had a metal handle on it. Well, Danette and I were fighting and she, she was outside, I was inside. She was trying to open the door. I was trying to shut the door. We were both pushing so hard, we broke a metal handle off the sliding door. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we fought pretty bad when we were, we were close, but we fought. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it happens that way though. You know, your, your closest <laughs> people can be the people you fight the most with too. <laughs> Shannon, has your mom ever given you really good advice that you may or may not have followed, but is was <laughs> being... <laughs> Have I ever followed any advice? Probably not, but, you know, they're putting it out there. Uh, as a teenager, I was probably a little too boy crazy, and she did say stay away from the boys, and I did not listen. I probably should have focused more on the dance, on dancing. Um, <laughs> instead, I had Adam Jacobs, my high school sweetheart, <laughs> and probably didn't go to school where I would have gone to school because I didn't want to go too far away from him. Mm -hmm. um, so I probably should have listened to that. But uh, had I listened to that, I wouldn't have had all the experiences I do have. So Fair enough. <laughs> who says the daughter who every February would start saying, screaming, I don't want to go to this school. Put me in a different school. Well, I was, and every I was year we shitless in school. I was bored huh? shitless. I was bored in school. I was really, really bored. In high but school. you were in the highest grades that they would put you in. I was still really bored. <laughs> She's ahead of her time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, all right, mom. What um I'm trying to think. All right, what's your favorite memory of you, me, and Danette? The three of us together. I would say probably going shopping and then going to a restaurant for a meal afterwards and just sitting there talking. Okay. Like when we were kids or when we were more adults? Uh, all the above. <laughs> when you were kids, we'd go to the Amity house. Um, I love that place. After shopping and that. And then when you got older, the El Rancho. Love that place, too. <laughs> <laughs> I like their wings. Yeah. And their pot pie is really good, too. Hey, Linda, what do you think is Shannon's best quality? She's very smart. Um, she can read a book and almost memorize it and know exactly word for word what it said in the book. Mm. I wish I could do that. You should join theater, Shannon. Huh? <laughs> I said she should join theater, memorizing scripts. She'd be that good would, at that it. That would be fun. That would be fun. Yeah, you should come out here and do theater. <laughs> Jen wants me to go out to Indiana, Mom. Yeah, I'm trying to get her to move out here so I can keep an eye on her. <laughs> <laughs> and who's going to keep an eye on you? I'm good. I, I'm good. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm the responsible one. <laughs> oh, <my goodness laughs> what was Shannon's favorite toy as a kid? She had Fred Flintstone uh, milk bottle. And she used to carry that around all the time. Fred Flintstone. And then when she got out of being milk, well, <laughs> then it was uh, just to carry it around. She'd sleep with it and everything. Aww. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be drinking from the bottle. My babysitter wouldn't let me have the bottle. 
mom wouldn't let me have the bottle, but my grandfather. No, no, no. Mom left you have the bottle. No, Pat would let me have the bottle. (laughs) What? I said, Pat would let me. As soon as he'd pick me up from Maggie's, he'd hand me my grandpa's bottle. (laughs) I didn't say you couldn't have the bottle. I was fine with it. Because I knew Maybe you it was weren't just drinking. Maggie that didn't want me to have it. <laughs> you weren't drinking out of it. We didn't put no, a nipple. No, I was drinking out of it. He would hand it to me full of because uh, I was I was drinking away. I mean, well, that might have you... been the first time, Mom, that I liked bottles. Yeah, but I didn't fill it up for you. <laughs> I didn't fill it up for you. Was but Fred, I left you have it. Was Fred Flintstone your first crush or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do what? I just like the bottle. I said, was Fred Flintstone her first crush? <laughs> no, it was just the bottle and, and the way it was shaped and that stuff. She could put her little hands through the bottle because it had a hole like in it. <laughs> and she could grip on it. It was Tell like. Dying. <laughs> it was more like her security blanket. She didn't have a security blanket. She had a Fred Flintstone bottle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. <laughs> okay. Back on track. Um, was Shannon big on animals when she was a kid? No. No, not really. We didn't. We had to see the cat. <laughs> this is Chris. Hey, I, Chris. I want to be in on the fun. <laughs> <laughs> not really. We didn't have any pets. We had Jerry. Well, I love Jerry. Used to sleep with me. Jerry, the we had Elvira, shepherd. Elvira, the white cat, and we had Missy, the the. But other than that, what, Elvira, the white cat. My step, yeah. my stepdad didn't really like animals, so we didn't have. We didn't really have. You pets. were allergic. You were always sneezing. Later on, I was allergic, yeah. I probably still am. I'm just kind of, I build up, I forced myself an immunity with Bodie. I just kind of forced it. Allergic to dogs? I was allergic Jerry to dogs. Dog. I would get welts if they licked me. But not cats? Not cats. Oh, yeah, she went, she went to a sleepover one time and came home the next day and her eyes were swelled shut. Mm-hmm. That she was allergic to their dog wow but for whatever reason it doesn't really bother me anymore now i don't know if that's because i had dogs and when i had Bodie and he was a puppy i was just taking claritin every day and then just weaned myself off the claritin but it's not an issue anymore but yeah when i was younger i'd get welts and swell up and it was <laughs> real active <laughs> wow did shannon ever sneak out of the house <laughs> Yes. <laughs> really? I mean, I guess yes. kind of. Maybe not. I think Maybe it was snuck in the house. In. Yeah, <laughs> snuck, sneaking in. <laughs> almost More so than shot. sneaking out, sneaking in. Almost you already got knew shot one night. <laughs> she almost got shot one night. Dave, shoot you. <laughs> Get the gun out. <laughs> thought I was because he thought I was already home. Yeah. <laughs> And we heard this coming in the back door and Dave gets on his belly and creeps out through with his shot uh, pistol and meets her head on, damn near blew her head off. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the last time she ever did that. She survival made sure of the she... fittest, Jay-Z. I am, I am proof of survival of the fittest. <laughs> when she lived with me, she, tr- she snuck in a bunch of times too. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew where the hell she was. I know she has this habit of telling you one o'clock and not <coughs> coming in till later. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> if I see a lump on her bed, I'd have to poke it to see if there's anything <laughs> under it. <laughs> could be clothes, could be Shannon. Who knows? <laughs> kinds of stuff in that room that room was scary i don't know okay that's a good question was she a messy kid <laughs> because when she yes was with me she was a total yes kid. yes i mean i couldn't even my open bedroom her has door. always been a mess <laughs> I couldn't even open her bedroom door half the time the only time is when i got laid off of work 
and I cleaned up their bedrooms spotless and I put a clothes basket in each room told them to put all their dirty clothes in the basket and I would literally wash every two days <laughs> and if there was clothes laying on the floor I just automatically picked them up throw them in the basket and washed them and then, because Danette and I used to have like little fashion shows and we were talking about this not too long ago <laughs> And then we take pictures of each other and pose. <laughs> it was back in the 80s, too, so you can imagine what these outfits look like. <laughs> we're using the camera, too. We're using the, auto, the automatic. The, the disposable ones, yeah. The dis yeah. Yeah, the 110 camera film. <laughs> oh, well. We'd sit on top of the freezer and we'd pose. and With their leotards on and short skirts with their... Uh, mm -hmm. tutus on over top mm -hmm. of them and it did and not like my yeah my sister had red red stirrup pants remember the stirrup pants and this bright yellow and white polka dotted shirt did not matter that she's wearing red and bright yellow it's just the fact that it was the cool stirrup pants that were <laughs> <laughs> like it didn't matter our clothes match or didn't match we just we were wearing the cool clothes you know <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness um, this might cut us off because it is getting close okay. to the 30 minute mark. I don't know if it will or not because, you know, sometimes it's weird and it gives us an extra 10 minutes. Um, so just warning you, if it does cut us yeah. off, that's what it is. Thanks for doing this, Jen. And mom, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. I'll give you a call tomorrow then. Yeah. Okay. Thank Happy you. Day. I enjoyed it. <laughs> so did I. Thank you. Yep. All right.